In this demonstration, I will show you how to integrate a Windows RSM Manager with a Linux Compute Server using the Secure Shell or SSH protocol in a non-clustered setup. In this scenario, RSM Manager services are installed on a Windows machine, and Compute resources are installed on a remote Linux machine. When a user submits a job from a client application such as Workbench or EKM, the job is sent to RSM on the Windows machine which in turn submits it on the user's behalf to the remote Linux compute server for execution. The SSH protocol can be used to securely transfer files from the Windows machine to the remote Linux machine as needed and to submit and monitor jobs. I will need to add the Windows Manager machine as a compute server in RSM. To begin, I will right-click Compute Servers and select Add. I'll specify a display name of Manager SSH to Linux to help me easily identify it. Since the machine that I'm adding as a compute server is the RSM Manager machine, I will enter localhost as the machine name. To define the role of the Manager machine in this scenario, I will select Communicates with a remote computer which performs the work. This indicates that it is a remote machine, not the current machine, that will perform the computational work. Note that the working directory location has been automatically set to Network Share. The options that are available or selected here depend on what is specified on the File Management tab, which I will cover in a later step. Next, I'll select the Remote tab so that I can set up the connection to the remote Linux machine. In the Remote Computer field, I will enter the name of the remote machine on which jobs will be executed. I will then specify the user account name that will be used to access the remote machine. When the IT administrator configured SSH access on the Linux machine, this is the account that was used when setting up passwordless access from the Windows machine to the remote Linux machine. Next, I'll select the File Management tab. Here I have two options for specifying how files will be transferred to the remote Linux machine and where they will be transferred to. First, I'll specify the path to the directory on the remote Linux machine where job files will be sent and staged for execution. You can enter the path manually or enter an environment variable that specifies the path. I can then specify how job files will be transferred to this remote directory from the Windows machine. To speed up the file transfer, I can set up a network share so that Windows can directly access the remote Linux job directory. I would then select the existing network share option and enter the Windows UNC path of the network share in the network share field. If I select the general tab now, I can see this path displayed in the Working Directory Path field. In this case, the Windows machine can see the remote Linux job directory, and RSM will simply copy files over to the remote machine without using the SSH protocol. To transfer files to the remote machine using SSH, I'll select the second option of using an external mechanism. If I go back to the General tab again, there are now two different options available for the Working Directory location. The Reuse Manager Storage option specifies that you want to reuse the RSM Manager's project storage directory as the local working directory. The User Specified option enables you to explicitly specify the path to a directory on the RSM Manager, so in this case I would specify the path to a directory on the local Windows machine. Job input files will be transferred from this directory to the remote directory on the Linux machine using the SSH protocol. I am finished defining this RSM compute server, so I will click OK to add it to the list of compute servers. To complete the configuration, I need to define a queue in RSM that jobs will be submitted to. I will right-click Queues in the tree outline and select Add. Once I've specified the name, I can assign the new Manager SSH to Linux server to this queue, then click OK. To test the configuration, I will right-click the Manager SSH to Linux Compute Server and select Test. I can see that the status is finished, which indicates that the job ran successfully on the remote Linux Compute Server. If the job were to fail, I could right-click in the Job Log view and select Save Job Report then send the saved job log to customer support for troubleshooting. This concludes the demonstration on configuring RSM to submit jobs to a remote Linux compute server using SSH.